Well, now in this video, we're going to do a quick review of uh, Zener diodes and uh, fixed value resistor uh, voltage dividers, most specifically when they're equal value. So when fixed value resistor voltage dividers are equal value on both sides, you end up with half the supply voltage. And uh, so that makes it pretty simple. Half of the supply voltage, if it's uh, 6 volts, we get 3 volts out. 15 volts supply voltage, we get about 7.5 volts out. Now with the Zener diode, the supply voltage does not matter. What matters is how much current is flowing through the Zener diode. So you have a resistor, and even then, the voltage doesn't matter that much. But in any case, you got current flowing through the resistor, the Zener diode, you're going to get about its Zener voltage out there. And uh, so I'm going to use a 5.1 volt Zener diode. It's going to be close to 5.1 volts. When we get a higher voltage, it's going to raise it up a little bit because a little more current is going to uh, be flowing actually through there. At uh, lower voltages, a little less current is going to flow, and uh, I think it'll land right at uh, 5.1 with 6 volts. But uh, even lower current, it dips down a little bit. So it varies a little bit. That's one thing to be aware of, but uh, not much. It still stays pretty close to 5.1 volts. So what's the point of this video is I'm probably going to make another video uh, soon where we take an op amp or a comparator and based on the supply voltage changing once we get to about 10.2 volts if I still use a 5.1 volt Zener diode and uh, this uh, fixed resistance then we will get about 5.1 volts out here and somewhere around that point if it's a comparator circuit the output is going to change so that could be a way like if you got a battery you're monitoring if you want it to uh, stop uh, powering stuff at about 2.10.2 uh, volts I mean or less then you could set this up and uh, you'll be monitoring 5.1 volts but it'll be a 10.2 volt battery that's a way you can get a lower signal than the uh, battery voltage and still shut something off that's one example but in any case let's start looking at this on the breadboard so here we got uh, the oscilloscope cables I just clamped them to jumpers there and the black one to the blue jumper is to the negative supply rail zero volt reference point so we're looking at the voltage in relationship to that with the one kilo ohm and the 5.1 volt zero doubt remember it has to be reverse bias the cathode is to the resistor there but in any case there you can see we got about 5.1 volts approximately and uh, there we have uh, 6 volts at the uh, power supply and uh, actually we're not going to move anything so we can just zoom in and we'll see that uh, the voltage is going to hold steady as I raise this up to about 15 volts so it did go up a little bit if we look closely as I said before it changes slightly with more current but in uh, any case it holds you know relatively stable so we'll go back to uh, 6 volts and what we're going to do is come back to the board I have my two 10 kilo ohm resistors there so they don't have to be 10 kilo ohms they just have to be equal value if you want half the supply voltage so now we got 3 volts from a 6 volt supply right there and we'll work our way up to a 15 there you can see it keeps stepping up and uh, at uh, 15 volts there's 8 squares on here working our way you can see we got about seven and a half right there so if we want to get to about 5.1 approximately because uh, as we said saw before there are some variable variables that shift it a little bit but in any case we want somewhere around 10.2 approximately and uh, so there you can see that it uh, looks like we're falling a little shy from what we will get with the uh, Zener but uh, by this point that means if we wire it for when the uh, resistors have a slightly lower voltage than the uh, Zeners to turn something off then it would be turned off right now as you can see there when we compare those two voltages it's slightly lower and when you compare them you look at the exact same voltage unless it's a Schmidt trigger but uh, in any case that's it for this video instead of looking at it with also the comparator which will make it a little more confusing we're just comparing the two voltages here as the supply voltage changes so in any case hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that i'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate patreon if you can that helps out the most but just watch as many videos as it can helps out a ton so thanks to everybody that does that i'll see you in the next video